our living room. Here we are getting uh, Angela's bike all ready to go. We're starting to bolt on all those things that we've purchased and today I'm going to show you the luggage rack. Now what we had done is we had gone out and gotten the Outback MotorTac uh, side racks and Angela had purchased, she wanted to get a GV top box. You'll see my top box later, it's ginormous, it's like a child sized coffin. Um, but Angela wanted a different top box and because it was a GB top box she needed the plate that matched and so she got um, a luggage rack for the top. It's the SR1191 luggage rack uh, and it's great. It looks fantastic. Problem was it's not compatible with the Outback MotorTech side pannier racks. So we quickly discovered on its own this works fine but it's not compatible with the side racks so keep that in mind. We were, however, able to take the, um, the Outback MotorTac uh, rear pannier rack. Uh, it comes with two rails and the top plate. Well, I don't need the top plate. This is the top plate that fits with her GV top box. That's the E251 top, uh, top plate. And it bolts in here perfectly. The four bolt holes that are on the Outback MotorTec uh, rear rack line up almost perfectly with the four that are on the uh, GV uh, rack that Angela originally got. So we've since we've swapped it out so the Outback MotorTech side and rear racks compatible with one another. We're able to bolt this on and just one sec. This is Angela's top box. Big enough to fit her helmet and just a little bit more and it goes on nice and easy. Bam, and that'll fit uh, her helmet and a few other small things. Now, Outback Motor Tech uh, has got some great reviews for their stuff, and there are a few complaints online with regards to how the stuff fits. And this is the second Outback Motor Tech rack that I've purchased, and I'm experiencing virtually the same thing with this one that I did with the other one that I purchased, which was also for a 2018 250 rally, and that was. It's a close fit, but it's not a perfect fit. So once I had everything in and I followed the directions where you put all the bolts and have everything loose so it all jiggles into place and lines up, I found that the um, one spot, which is this bar here that bolts down uh, in here, wasn't lined up properly. No matter how I wiggled it, I couldn't make it work. It was out by about three quarters of an inch. So what I did was <laughs> I put a piece of wood at the back end here and then I put a ratchet strap across the front. I tightened down the ratchet strap so it would bend this in far enough to push this uh, mounting point onto where the bolt is properly. Put the bolt on and I've left the, um, I've left the wood in there just to keep it um, from being stressed at the back corner as well. So the front has got some stress on it. Hopefully, I'm not a metallurgist, I'm hoping that that stress is going to settle out. But had I not put the wood in the back, then the back bracket wouldn't have lined up properly. So the back was fine, the front wasn't. If I were, you know, had a torch and the right uh, clamps and whatnot, I probably would have tried bending these two pieces here to see if I could line it up a little bit better. Um, so, a little bit of work, but it's on, it's good to go, and it's ready for Angela's luggage. So, there you have it. Outback Motor Tech, rear rack, Outback Motor Tech, uh, sorry, side rack, rear rack, with the GV plate for Angela's GV luggage. Any questions, uh, comment below, and uh, we'll see you again real soon.